Hey girl, hey! Welcome and welcome back. It's your favorite Gabonese queen. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> and yes, girl, you see today we are slaying, we are giving Nubian queen, we are giving a goddess. Yeah, we're giving summer, we're giving life, okay? Y'all, I am feeling this. I am, I am feeling this look like. Let me tell you, this inflation, you know this gonna cost you a good $300. At the, at the salon but guess what i got it all for 50 bucks okay 50 dollars i don't got the hair got everything i needed for 50 dollars i sat down all i needed was 50 dollars and about five hours <laughs> yes i am really really loving this look but i'm not even here to talk too much all right so i'm just here to show y'all how i look and if you want to look like this baby girl just stick around just stick around, just stick around. And also, don't forget to go subscribe, go like, comment, share, you feel me? Yeah, exactly what he said, okay? But yes, y'all, so let's get right into this video without wasting any more of your time. We are gonna get down to the look, all right? Okay, I'm getting out of here, bye. <laughs> Okay, girl, so first things first is to start off with the list of all necessities. And first on our list is the pre-fluffed hair by Free Trace in your desired length. But you're definitely going to need two packs of that stuff. So make sure you get two packs of the pre-fluffed hair and also get two packs of the water wave. So we're going to do two different um two different textures. So two pre-fluffed and two water waves in your desired length it doesn't matter you know whichever length you want it at some braiding gem of course because we need those braids to be slick and clean some rubber bands of course because we are doing the rubber band method and excuse my clumsiness <laughs> and some combs for parts purposes so let's get into it Okay, so when it comes to parting, everybody kind of have a different way of parting their hair for braids. Um, you guys can check in the description box below. I do have a detailed video on how I part my hair, but don't mind this one. This is just me trying a new way. I usually part my hair down in the middle from the front to back, but this time I'm trying from side to side. But also a good pointer is to use jam while parting your hair. That, you know, it helps with more cleanliness and it makes your parts look more neat. So that's one good pointer. Use jam. Use jam when parting your hair. So for this hairstyle, I believe I have a total of 32 boxes. Um, you are free to part as many as, as many parts as you want. I just was going for a jumbo-like style. But also, if you check in the description box below, I do have a detailed video of how I part my hair. So if you'd like to check it out, just click the link below. And um, as you can see right here, I am doing the rubber band already, but I'm not going to yet start the braiding process. I just kind of prefer to rubber band my whole hair, basically, you know, do the parts and then rubber band it to kind of just keep it secure and parted. And then eventually I'm going to come back and start the braiding. This is your reminder to use some jam, girl. Because if at this point you forgot to use some jam, I'm here to remind you, baby girl. Use some jam if you want your hair to look nice, clean, and professional. I've learned from my years of self practice, I've learned that jam makes all the difference, girl. Because even if you check back in my um 
my knotless braids video that's actually when I learned how important jam was I didn't apply enough jam in that video and my braids just started looking old really fast so now we know better and I'm gonna transfer the knowledge sis use some jam for some clean looking braids okay use it for parting and use it right before you install the rubber band So we're just gonna breeze right through the remainder of the parting process. And like I said, if you need a more detailed described video, just click in the link below where I have provided you guys with the link of my video where I'm taking my time with parting my hair. But now we're just gonna keep going and I'm ready to get to the braid, so let's get it. down to the real deal so like I said you're gonna need both textures pre-fluff and water wave the reason why we have two different textures is because the pre-fluff hair its purpose is for uh, texture matching so if you have 4c like hair like me then this is the hair that you're gonna need and then the water waves purpose is to give you the bohemian look you know that the passion twists have with the curly tips or whatever so I start off by installing the pre-fluff hair and um, so what I've learned during this process is you can actually insert both hairs at the same time um, this right here is time-consuming but you know it's definitely beginner friendly so if you don't know what you're doing I recommend starting off like this by putting in one one string of hair at a time but eventually you'll get the hook of it and then you'll just put both of them together so like I'm doing here now I'm gonna go ahead and add my water wave oh and um, a quick disclaimer this this process right here would definitely loosen up your rubber bands so at the end of installing your strings just be sure to go back and tighten up again a little bit because your braid will seem like it's a little loose and we don't want that okay not at all but as you see I have put in both hairs and um here we go again you need some more jam in your life girl jam it up and I'm doing this right here because we want to make sure that you know your 4c texture doesn't come out and puff up and shows in the braid you get what I'm saying so you want to use some jam to tame that up a little bit and um now let's get into the braiding part so you definitely want to start with a little braiding okay just a little bit of braiding do about four four rounds three to four rounds of braiding and then you can go ahead and start your twisting all right but um the reason why we do that it's because of course we want to make sure that your hair is secure and you don't want your twist to just fall out flat so braid first then you know braid for about two to three well not two three to four rounds to get a good base and then go ahead and start your twist
so on this specific braid if you pay close attention you will notice that i have both strings on the one crochet hook because girl i figured that and nobody got time for that and it saved me so much more time so like i said you could either start by installing one at a time until you get comfortable but then eventually you will learn that you could just do both at the same time and get it over with on the first try all right Okay, babes, if you follow the instructions correctly, then this is what you should end up with. This is my attempt at doing passion twists, and I think they came out really good. So, if you guys really enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. But also, don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching.